Somebody friend. Like y'all have to go right to the fucking and moving in. Like y'all have to go right to the helping them with their basics. Like y'all have to step right in and be a parent. I want to know. I want to know. Like why why y'all can't why y'all can't normalize like getting to know a person character before y'all mix. Cause y'all gonna get mad after I say what I say on this video. I just wanna know why y'all why y'all 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 don't fuck the friends on. Like fuck fuck the friends on, fuck the friend role, fuck the like let me get to know you. Like why why y'all this ain't a thing. Like let, let me just give y'all some scenarios because some of y'all probably thinking like she ain't talking about me. How come when y'all be meeting people that y'all like, like if they don't have no car, why can you, why you can't just be their friend until they get the things together in their life they need to have together to be your man or to be your lady? Like when y'all meet people and they don't have like they living situation stable, like why you can't just be their friend and offer them like resources and allow them to get on their feet before you start fucking them and shit? trying to be their mama and like doing for them in ways that like a parent do for they why y'all like when y'all meet people and like you talking to the nigga he been locked up like why you can't let him come home to his own shit like if he ain't got nowhere to go like why he can't you can't help him use his family resources or utilize the resources that the you know the little system got set up for them to come home to to get himself together on his own why why y'all y'all can't just be somebody friend without like diving in and like getting involved in their life like y'all can't let them get to know you as a person without having to like owe you because that's all it is like some of y'all bro that's your nigga just because he owe you because of all the stuff you done did like nigga that's your bitch because you know she was about to be homeless or was staying with her mama and you put her in a place and that's why she just ended up going ahead and locking in with you it was you was the best option at that time Like, why y'all don't let the people, like, just have that feeling of, like, getting their own shit together? And then here's the thing. If they take too long to get it together or they never get it together, they wasn't for you anyway. Like, it wasn't meant for you to be mixing with the people anyway. Like, why y'all don't... I, I, I don't understand this. Why y'all don't let the people get their big food... Clothing, transportation, stable income, you know, the responsibilities sorted out on just a basic gradient. Why y'all can't let them get that shit together before y'all start mixing with them? Somebody said, I've done that and it was a disaster. I wish I would have never, I wish I would have knew better then. It was that because they only picking you because you was the best option at that time. Y'all be kidding y'all selves. Just be lying to your own self. Y'all get with people and you done mixed all in their lives. Oh, you the reason they got transportation. You the reason they got them nice clothes. You the reason they got a place to stay. Like, you the reason that they, like, you know, got a little money in their pocket. Like, and then you, you don't understand, like, you making it hard for the person to organically, like, pick you for you. I just don't understand. Y'all don't know how to be nobody friend. I'm going to have to do a live and a Zoom on how to be a friend. I'm going to have to do one on just how to be a friend. Because it seems like all y'all give a fuck about is making the person your boyfriend or making the girl your girlfriend and saying that's your people's or trying to take them off the market. And the people only go on and go with you because it's convenient. Bitch, we done got out of jail. I don't got much going on. There's not a lot of options. So, of course, like, of course, that's your nigga. Right? Ain't nothing else going on. You're the best thing smoking because ain't nothing going on. When you compare yourself to nothing, of course, you're the better option. Of course. I, I don't, y'all don't understand this. Same for y'all dudes. Like, you, you get right in the girl life. You doing all this shit. It's going to be hard for her to like you for you. 
This is why when you get with them and you're doing all this shit, then later on, when you don't got it to do all that shit, she don't like you no more. Because she never liked you in the beginning anyway. Stupid. And I'm, I'm literally, I'm not talking about getting with somebody that y'all match each other as far as what y'all bring to the table and you decide to spoil your man or spoil your lady. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how y'all motherfuckers get involved with people basics. The basic shit they supposed to have under control of themselves. I don't understand it. You can't just be their friend until they get right. Just be my friend. Just, just help me shoot some resources my way. God, so when I get myself together, I can say it was me. I don't owe you. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got to feel like a victim because I used you and then don't want you. Like, afterward. Because some of y'all, and I'm just being real. These past few weeks, I've been doing a lot of one-on-ones with guys. It's a lot of y'all dudes. They don't want to be in a relationship with y'all. Bro, your man don't want to be in that marriage no more. He don't want to be in that monogamous relationship with you no more. Girl, he don't want to stay there, but he feel like you're going to get upset and bring up all that stuff you did when he didn't have no other options going on when he first got out of prison or when he was fucked up. And I know y'all going to feel how y'all want to feel, but why y'all can't just let the people like get their basics together they self? And then if they choose to be with you, because I'm going to be real. For females, like you really find out if a nigga fuck with you when he's up. Like when he, not when he down. Y'all be telling all these stories about how you basically, you know, bought a nigga into being with you because you was just the only thing going on right then. Don't don't pick me because I'm the last option, bitch. Don't pick me because I'm the only one left in the room that got enough decent shit going on to help you in your survival season. Don't pick me for that. Pick me because you like my character. Because you feel like I'm a good person. Because you know you think I'm pretty. You, you, you know, you, you attracted to me. Don't pick me because I bought you a bunch of clothes and shit when you got out of prison. Don't pick me because it's easy to have a place to stay if you pick me. Don't pick me because I got an extra car and you want to drive. Don't pick me for that. Yeah, they scared. It's niggas right now. I legit done did phone calls with them. They want to leave y'all. Girl, they don't want to be there. They told me they ready to go. But they already know you're going to act crazy and tell the internet all the stuff you did. But they don't like you. They like what you did. They don't like you. You can say they used you, whatever you want to call it. The bottom line is the nigga don't want to be there. So you can cry victim. You can say all that stuff. The man ready to go. Like when the dust settled and he got himself together, he don't want you no more. Because it wasn't you that kept him there anyway. It was all the stuff. I told y'all it'd be the Nissan Altima. It'd be the fact that he could catch buddies in your car and pump up. When he pump up, he want to go be with the other girl. He don't want to be with you. You was not like a top choice out of a bunch of options. You was the only thing sticking around his, his ass when he ain't have no options in survival mode. Y'all don't know how to be a friend. Y'all can't be nobody friend. It's just straight to the pussy. Straight to moving in. Straight to you can hold my car. Straight to I'll pay your rent. You know what I'm saying? What, what, just straight to that? Are you just going to go straight to that? Some of y'all do. The girl chose you because her baby daddies don't do nothing. And you was willing to do for the kids. It ain't your character. She don't like you. Half the time don't respect you. She think your mama ugly. But you know, you was buying the joys and shit for the kids and stuff. Her, other, her baby daddy won't answer the phone. Like he ain't studying her. You know, you was the only option. That's why when she got herself together and shit, she don't like you no more, bro. What you want me to tell you? It wasn't you that she actually liked from the, it's what you could do. What y'all want me to say? The people don't want to be with y'all no more. Once they got themselves together. Like you was like government assistance. You helped them get on their feet and now they ready to go. They ready to go. I'm going to have to do a Zoom and a live on how to be a friend. Just be people friend. Let them get to know your character. Like, allow them to choose to be with you because they like you. Is this hard? It's hard for some of y'all. Like, y'all go straight into being a bitch mama. Right into just all up in their personal stuff. Like, y'all don't know how to let people problems be their problems. Just be my friend. Like, don't come load, unload your shit on me. I'm not going to unload. This this not normal to y'all.
when the people get themselves together, they show y'all how they feel. Then y'all be so in victim mode. Like you got to keep on, you know, if you in a relationship with somebody, you got to keep reminding them of all the stuff you did. Girl, them people ain't try. Bye. That's what they want to say. Y'all going to make them feel bad. Why do y'all have to just dive right in when you see people don't got their self together? I'm not talking about relationships where you spoiling one another. I'm talking about when you know, like this person's life ain't even stable. And then you trying to lock in with them and make them love you the right way. They, like they not even loving self the right way. Y'all don't understand this? Like when people don't have just the basic stuff together, let them be, just be their friend. Y'all be listening to all them trauma stories about why they ain't got no car or why they ain't got no money or why they in between places to live and shit. Great. Pray for them. Pat them on the back. Offer them a meal. You don't got to bring them home. Why do y'all always have to bring them home? Why? Can we talk about the dudes that they in survival mode to run away from commitment instead of open? Ain't nobody in survival mode trying to run away from no commitment. Survival mode is when a person don't got their basics together. Somebody just coming home from prison. I don't got my shit together. Rightfully so, because I'm just coming home from prison. Y'all be knowing this. You know it. And then you 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 lock in with a nigga, start dabbling all into their basics and, you know, helping them with all this stuff. And when the person get they self together, you upset because they don't want to commit to you. But you was the only option at that time. That's why you got picked. Bitch was in survival mode. Survival mode is like watching a homeless person. They will do anything for their next meal. Rightfully so. Digging trash cans, steal something off your car, anything. Y'all go get them. You go get the homeless people, the people who fucked up, the people who ain't got no money saved, no consistent place to stay, nothing as far as like a, a job going on for themselves. Then you get in, you want to get on my live and tell me to talk about how they don't want to commit. Girl, fuck you. The people ain't supposed to be studying about you. A young adult just graduating from high school, trying to figure life out. That is survival mode. They should not be trying to lock in with nobody, commit. They should be trying to build and grow them. Somebody just lost their job, didn't really have no money saved, trying to figure things. They not supposed to be around here trying to love on and commit to you. Y'all, something wrong with y'all, not them. Something is wrong with y'all that you want somebody to commit and make you matter more than getting their life together. And listen, if they want these people, it seems like they never going to get it together. Then, of course, you don't need to be trying to commit with them. Exactly. Y'all have to apply pressure to make people be with y'all. And then when I make the videos about pressure and monogamy, y'all want to, oh, she for the niggas. Oh, well, what's she trying to say? Oh, let these niggas be with more than one bitch? Oh, no, bitch. Learn how to be somebody's friend. Stop trying to pressure people through getting involved in their life and fixing their problems like you they mama. When the people get right, they don't want you for you. Survival mode is when a bitch don't got adequate transportation that they supply they self. I don't give a fuck if it's the bus. As long as he or she pay for it, they self, they got it under control. Motherfucking a place to live. They own place to stay where they pull their own weight. If they a roommate somewhere, they pay their part. Feed they self. Clothe they self. The necessities, the stuff they want, they take care of it. Find somebody that got this shit already under control. The real problem is y'all can't attract nobody like that, bitch, because you broke in your damn self. Can't manage your emotions, don't know how to talk to people, poor at communicate. So you got to get you an old survival mode ass, fresh out the chain gang ass. I just took a loss in the streets ass. I'm in between jobs ass nigga and get him to lock in by pressuring him or using your little Nissan Altima or your CNA checks to make him like you and shit like that. Ain't nobody got time for that, bitch. And that's why y'all always lose in the end be a person friend if you're gonna do for them and help them out while they down let it be because you genuinely doing that from the kindness of your heart not because they got to fucking commit to you in the end 
Some of y'all, you think you're going to tell me, yep, well, I did that with my man, and we married. And them be the same ones be calling me on a one-on-one, -on -one, scared to tell your ass he really want to leave. But you know, what do I know? Y'all got to figure that. Meanwhile, these niggas paying clean above 200 just to sit on the call and tell me, hey, listen, I I'm trying to leave. I ain't on, man. She done did a lot for me. You know, I love her, but I don't, I don't, I ain't, I don't want to be, I, I like, this ain't what I want to do. I already know she going to try to keep the kids from me. If I, you know, I'm just saying love, like, you think I should leave? What y'all want me to tell them? What y'all want me to say? Bro, just stay there. Keep liking them. What y'all want me to tell them? It ain't even that. It ain't even about even just trying to buy them. Even if you, you feel like you a good person, I genuinely was trying to help them. When you start mixing yourself into a person's basics, you become more of a mama figure or a rather than a feminine figure in their life. So then this is why when they, when they get themselves together, they start feeling more like a man and all that. They, 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 that is not where they want to be. They want to go look for somebody that, you know, can be submissive to them because you ain't because she you the reason the nigga got a car, a decent job. You like a mama. It, I, I see I'm have to make a, you know, just a video like helping y'all. Helping y'all understand. Because I, I, I probably ain't gonna get nowhere on this video with y'all. When people be in survival mode, they will go for it and put up with it, act like they like stuff that they don't even like. And this is just me being real. It ain't even about the people being wrong. It's just when you're back against the wall and life ain't going well and you, you know, you broke or you fucked up or you, you know, living in the consequences of your poor choices, you will go along with a lot of shit that once you get yourself together, you ain't for it no more. And that's all that really be going on. Type what you want to type on here. I don't know no other way else to explain it. If you offended or you hurt because you in a situation with this, you shouldn't have got on here. Like, by now, y'all motherfuckers know what this page is. It ain't nothing nice. Exactly. It ain't your job to be their provider, their mama, their fucking warden, their nobody. Telling them what to do, covering things that are, you be their friend. And I'll make a live on this. Being somebody's genuine friend. Fucking with them for they, they actual character. Allowing them to get to know your character. Encouraging them. Waiting to see how much they care about self as you offer them resources. See if they're going to take advantage of it and build they self up. Not you coming in and building them up. But some of y'all, you can't understand what I'm saying. So go, excuse me, go be emotional. Go be mad. It don't matter what you hoes type on y'all. Never give a fuck. So you can disagree, say all that shit you want. A lot of times I just delete your comments so nobody reads it anyway. You're wasting your fucking thumb power, bitch. Trying to come on here and convince me of anything. And if you don't like my tattoos now nah, or my deep voice or whatever, I give no fucks at all. This is a business for me. See you next time when I come on to cuss your ass out again. Have a wonderful Thursday, bitch. Bye, Instagram.